So that's that's an interesting question because um, I, it, I really had to think about it. And I'm not saying this because I don't have role models. I think I've had a lot of people in my life that have helped me get where I am today. Uh, but I was kind of struggling to identify like one or two, you know, sort of people in particular. Um, however, I can certainly say uh, there, there have been strong women in my life that I think were very important for, you know, in terms of a professional formation and, and just really thinking about how would I want to behave when I, you know, when I'm grown up. And, um, you know, one is, is a fabulous woman by the name of Myra Fiore. Myra I met um, in New York uh, shortly after we moved there. And she was a marketing director for Illy Cafe, the Italian brand. Um, brilliant, brilliant marketing mind, um, art lover. And obviously Illy is just so involved with contemporary art. So we really hit it off. Um, as a consequence, Illy has uh, supported a lot of my projects and exhibitions whenever I had uh, maybe an Italian artist involved or there was kind of some Italian connection that we could use to you know, further both mine as well as their missions, we would find a way to collaborate. Um, but I remember one thing that Myra said, which kind of stuck with me, and that was, you know, what I like about working with, with me is that because you know, you're a freelance creator, you used to do amazing things with a very small budget because that's what we need to do. You know, we don't, I don't have a big institutions behind me. I've, I've managed to do my projects by virtue of figuring things out, by literally and just you know, being able to borrow this and get that in kind and find sponsors for, you know, to cover the sort of the most basic expenses. And so she found that that, um, you know, that initiative and that way of resolving problems was something that uh, she really enjoyed, you know, working. And that, and, and that was interesting because something that I didn't necessarily think about that much. But when she mentioned, I was like, you know, she's right. It's like uh, the, you know, what I've, what I learned by doing, because I really never went to curatorial school. I don't have a master from Bar College or the Whitney program. I, my study was a same, you know, pure history, art history. So the, the curatorial part of my being was really came out, out of just learning how to do it by doing it, talking to colleagues, reading books, of course, um, but just realizing I wanted to work with artists and curating seemed to be a good thing. Um, another woman who, from a business perspective, has been uh, a, an incredible mentor um, is uh, Barbara Coase Paley. Uh, Barbara uh, founded a company in New York called Art Assets. Uh, I think it's now more than 25 years, so they're probably closer to 30 years. And um, I actually. Um, got to know the company because of a curator I met in New York shortly. I moved, was working with them, and she needed some help, and I had just moved to New York, and she said, look, if you want some, you know, gigs here and now and there, I, I really like what you're doing. Maybe we should talk and do something together. And so we did, and then eventually she left, and I, I kind of took her place. Um, but essentially what Art Assets does, she, they work with real estate developers, and uh, so we uh, what we did together was to create our program for these developers, whether we're talking about, uh, for example, large lobbies or corporate offices in Midtown uh, for which we had to find art, uh, maybe on a rotational basis, so it was more on the curating side, or thinking about commissioning artwork that will be then purchased by the client and, and be there on a permanent basis. Um, but what I enjoyed about working with Barbara was just, just seeing her in action. Um, you know, her networking abilities are astounding to this day. Um, her ability to turn things around. I mean, I remember walking to a meeting with a very unhappy client one day and thinking we're just going to lose the account because they weren't happy with the last artist. They had some problem with the, what we had proposed. And she managed to turn completely around and sure enough, we walked out with a signed contract. So that for me was astounding. It's something that I've been, you know, working at. I'm not nearly as good as she is, but certainly it's it, she's been an, an, an inspiration for that.